talk about the trip from uh, Portimão. We moved from uh, from the anchor to the marina. We wanted to move there so we can fill up the tanks. Uh, it's easier to get the crew on board. We also had a few things aboard to, to get ready for the trip. We wanted to secure the wind generator. We needed to get uh, the lines for the spinnaker and all the others secured and ready. We knew we had issues with the speed log, so I wanted to dive on it to, to have a look. We wanted to set up the, the wind vane properly. We needed to put the dinghy uh, aboard, uh, secure it, tidy it down. There was quite a few things and it's just easier if you are secure to, the, um, to a dock. <laughs> you said that the uh, weather forecast is a bit better than it was before. Oh! So we're still a bit nervous because it is a massive thing to do for us at least, longest passage ever. Uh, but yeah, the sun is good. So perfect. Good Let's start. See. Good start. Yes. Good That's start. Good. Then it was time for us to go. And once we were out, even though there was no wind, we hoisted the sail so we could motor sail and, uh, and kept on going that way. During this time it was great because with a very calm sea and light winds I could uh, show Joao and Caroline around the boat. I could show them how the plotter works, explain a bit about uh, sail trim and other things around the boat like how to use, uh, how to use the galley, uh, especially the water, make sure that we keep our consumptions low, uh, showing how the heads work, where sea cocks are, I mean there is quite a few things to go through that uh, on the video you only see a little bit. Ah, okay. <laughs> because oh. now I got worried, eh? <laughs> if the captain is... If you're worried, then it's kind of really bad, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I'm just being nice. I'm fine. <laughs> Everybody's fine. So we're having a little uh, meeting. <laughs> oh, boy. We are... Uh, what time is it? Almost eight. We left at one, so we're seven hours in. It's good. And um, it's getting dark. Are quite high, and uh, there's more wind than, than predicted. We reefed already the sails, the almost two reefs in the front and two reefs in the main sail. And it's quite uncomfortable because the waves are coming almost from the beam, so we're in this quite jolly. I'm feeling a bit seasick, but I can still do hold it in so far. And we just had a discussion which we didn't feel with. Uh, we just had a discussion.
go a bit more to the right. I know we go a bit more parallel to the waves, which is a pain. But uh, I think the weather is... We want to try to get that way because of the weather. Okay. Try what? A bike or something. See how it feels. You can feel a bit uh, idiotic, but on the camera. Got burned, got a uh, rope burn, hoisting the spinnaker. Get too enthusiastic with it, then look. Maybe the, that means there's a bit more wind than I'm thinking. <laughs> Let's hope that thing is correct. So, Captain Miguel, how are you feeling today? Tired, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I think when you see the videos, it's always me saying the same thing. I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired, the sea and the wind. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but third day, it's, I think it's getting to us. I think the tiredness and everything else. And uh, the waves have been relentless. The boat hasn't started rolling since we Actually, since we left Portimao, and I think that's really been putting us all on the edge. But we're a day away, hopefully, so we should all, we should be there in a bit. And uh, I'm hoping we can have a nice anchorage and can relax for a few days. What about Caroline? I'm feeling good. I've got my meats. What are you rice. eating? Oh, delicious! Saskia made this. Okay. Beets, rice, carrots, onions, very good. Gives you energy, just what you need. Here, I'll give me that. <laughs> what about you, mister? That's pretty much it. I, I think I'm the one who is living in the longest night here. I'm proud of it, because I like to make it red. But it's good. No sea sickness. <laughs> we are going to Madeira Island, so All it's right. always a nice place. And where is the master chef? Enjoying a food in quietness. You're eating an egg! Aha! <laughs> got you! I'm eating an egg. <laughs> Here, guys. But yeah, I'm alright. Good. First plan was to go one long tack straight from Putimão to, uh, to Las Palmas. But with the combination of a wind and sea state, it was uh, quite hard to stay on that course. So we adjusted the course. And, um, and at this point we're just aiming to, to Madeira. We were going to get quite strong winds around Las Palmas, so we decided to go to Madeira instead. You can't see anything. There's the moon. And it shines. And it's nice, but you can't see it. Oh, there's a red light. Wow! 
filming, filming, filming the filming. Filming the YouTube. This is uh, uh, in the making, yeah. Inception. The make the making of Economas. The YouTube inception. Yeah. Right. Oh my god, it's gonna blind you. Alright, over and out. Okay. Porto Santo is in fact the first island that uh, that you you get to. I send a message through to my brother, an SMS via satellite phone to call the marina, ask them if there were places available. They said there absolutely was not, <laughs> that we had to anchor. And once we arrived, we went out there and yeah, we saw exactly that. The marina was full. The anchorage in the bay was too full for our taste. So uh, we decided anchoring outside on their second anchor um, spot in front of the bay. That was incredible, especially after such a, such a, a sail where everyone was quite uncomfortable. To arrive and then go straight for a swim with warm water, it was just uh, magical almost. <laughs> oh. Wow. And so warm. The only problem here is the shark because they have sharks. What they do? <laughs> no man, the last time I saw they have sharks. Okay, true. In our next video we will explore Porto Santo together with Xiao and Caroline. But sadly we also have to say goodbye to them. We will continue our journey together. Thanks for watching!